down. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Make sure that was working. Um, we don't have any sound coming through. Well, desktop sound is on. Good job. Looks like, <clears throat> looks like uh, everything's banned so far except for Pangea, Seven Seas, and Highland. Okay, Seven C. It's most likely going to be Highland, I think. Or is that question mark random? Hmm. I don't know what, what they like to go with. Uh, it looks like BTS banned Highland, so it looks like Seven Seas is the map. We have, I believe, BTS is Team One. So BTS gets the first ban, and it looks like we'll see what they go with. Looks like Mongolia first um, from BTS. So this is a, a cast for CWC qualifier in the Brazilian league. I came a little unaware. I don't know much about either of these teams. I don't know who's good or, or, or bad. But I can talk through. I believe it's the same type of ban phase that everyone who has watched the CWC and before is aware of. So it looks like Coupe is first ban with from SOA. <clears throat> I don't know what BTS or SOA stands for. BTS is the current Brazilian oh yeah I remember yeah they they played in the CWC last year. I don't remember them making it very far. I don't think they made it past the first round. Same with Zoc. It was tough. It was a tough first round at CDC. The first level, I guess. If that makes sense. But yeah, I, I agree. I know that BTS was there. I just don't know what rock. Like, some people could have stopped playing, got new talent. The team they're playing against could have more talent. It looks like Byzantium was banned by BTS, I believe. <clears throat> no, it goes back and forth. So BTS, SOA, BTS. And then I believe SOA will get the first place after the first place ban. <clears throat> I'd like to mention that I do have a Discord and I'm putting in Discord the schedule of the games that I'll be casting. If you want to keep up with that, I will actively put as much um, emphasis on that as I can. It's like SOA Advent Gorgo. Gorgo, I believe, is still pretty strong. Um, so I understand that. Still, still has the the combat. Um, put some music. I need to listen to music. I don't know about you guys. I need to listen. Norway. So this is a 7 C, so I'm surprised to not see more navels going. <clears throat> I thought for sure more navels would have been banned first round. So it comes down to SOA. I would imagine they would ban. I would ban Japan in this situation. 
or actually Dido. Dido is probably the strongest one. But SOA, they do get the first pick, I believe. Team 2 gets the first active. first ban. So they they would probably want to ban like Japan or Victoria and take Dida. <clears throat> Russia. Interesting. I don't think Russia gets good land. On yeah, Brens. No worries. I've had this camera set up for quite a while. For a couple months or so, a few months. I have all of my amateur tournament cast on YouTube. So if you want to see some FA tournament style for some lower scale players, by all means, check out that. You know the commands. The first pick Mapuche on a seven C, so no one wants to go with the name. Mapu is Mapuche really that strong still? I think it is. So think it has that plus ten. I, I can't look. I personally I can't even look in <clears throat> I can't look in the BBG server to check anything. Um, I was change log if even accurate. I, I don't even know. <clears throat> there's the pan pick. And then immediate Persia. So it looks like team one did get the first pick. They got the first ban and the first I thought that was different before. That's fine. Yeah, only one naval base postal civ has been picked so far now. Japan. It would be smart for for one of the for ETS to grab one. happen. Did you reset the timer? Hmm. Hmm. Molly. Really? Huh. Quite intriguing. Uh, so, I guess the map doesn't for these guys, the map doesn't indicate or, or doesn't dictate what they want to go for. They're just like, we'll play naval if we have to, um, and we're going to play inland. Maybe that's just what their strengths are. Maybe they have, maybe each team has a weakness of playing naval sets. So they're not going to prioritize that. They're going to focus on their strengths and move forward. Hopefully they can win that way. I'm hoping that this game isn't a, a sweep. I'm hoping that it gets some good competition going. But like I said, I don't know how good either team is. Other than that BTS was the Brazilian League previous champion. So Catherine Blackman. I thought I thought for sure she would go in the first round. Okay. <clears throat> she wasn't. I would I think I would have went with Catherine over. I understand the Russia, I understand Norway, I understand Maori, but Byzantium, Mongolia, and Gorgo, iffy. Let's see, we got ETS, so SOA, 
they were waiting for BTS of Scythia. So they're not they're not going with the Thank you for the follow. Um we five. Is that we five? Oh, follow. Oh, we'll wait for the other one to come because one came in right after. Alright, thank you for the follow, Case. Thank you for the follow, Danielle. Thank you for the follow, Dale, Dale Jones. Correct me if I if I said it correctly. Want to make sure I'm I'm pronouncing your name the best that I can. Uh, looks like SOA bans paint. Hmm. Guess nobody wants to see conquest. Interest. Interesting. Also, I'm gonna. Just hydrate again, give you a little bit more. FYI, for anybody who may not know, uh, with the channel points, for me, if you scroll down to those channel points, you can see that if you collect enough, you can request a um, gifted tier one subscription. So just come in, watch, watch, watch me stream as much as you possibly can, earn. I think it's pretty relatively easy to get I think that's 25,000 it does 25,000 channel points just get a subscription going and you earn double channel points if you're already subscribed so once you get the first subscription it's kind of just steamrolling you may not get it once a month but we'll get some free ones there okay it looks like SOA went Egypt we have a Hungary pick. Hungary is it's fun to watch I think Hungary is you know what you're doing you can actually do a lot of no problems hey bron how you doing <laughs> so soa yep, bts what so they also, there's also a ban on pericles so both reasons are gone i don't want to deal with any cheesy uh culture i said hello bro <laughs> thanks though thanks Everyone's unaware, the lights do flash. Actually, I think I need to zoom my camera. I wish we had to zoom my camera. That's better. Okay. So they went with a China. Ooh. There's a lot of greed here. There's a lot of greed. Molly and China on the same team. It's a lot of greed. Especially going against a Persia. It is 7C. So we'll see. See how, how the map plays. How the map plays. It's fair. It's fair to everybody. Have to play the screens clip? What do you mean screens clip? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is flipped. This one isn't normal. <laughs> Forgot. Th this is like an old um, setup I had. This is an old setup. That I have. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what I did to change all that. I'll have to mess around with it some other time. Yeah, 
I don't remember what I did. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, it is it is flipped from what it what it used to be. Flip it vertically for that for a little bit. Ah! Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that. But I don't want to mess up the stream for right now. So we'll just we'll deal with it this way for now, and yeah, we'll get back to it in the next. One. But it is it is backwards. I used to do that in my old place because of the camera stuff was where the camera was angled it just didn't look right so i had to flip to make it look better yeah <sighs> from the first Ooh. stirrings of life okay so bts we got mapuche molly hungry and china stone age first to man versus take his first upright steps yep have come far and now begins your greatest quest from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars we will see how it bears out with the map there we go How's that? Figured it out. <laughs> I just drank. Oh, wow. Seven C's. And look at all this. This would be a naval paradise. Look at this. All right, let's start, start at the top left. Kinda tough. This Persia didn't quite make the top. Oh, I just gotta give the... Ah, thank you so much. Light issue with Mike. Here's that. I may not have the filters on as well. Oh yeah, I have too many filters. How's that? Is it better? It's way too many. There's way too many filters going on there. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't quite set this one up. I wasn't fully ready for it. Okay, let's uh, let's get to the game. Thank you for the follow, Morita. Morita O. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, looks like we have Mapuche here um, from the top left. First sieve after we see a Bologna city state. We got a. Mapuche with some actually decent decent appeal. So we got some good Chimamals gonna come out of here. Good campuses as well. But unfortunately it's only the cap that has that. Alright, we'll go straight down. We'll see Granada and Shan. And we see Whoa. You guys see this visual tearing? Uh oh. Oh, we got Gaul and Egypt right next to one another. Gaul and Egypt next to one another. Egypt has floodplains as well.
I'll probably have to exit out. Then we have Japan. So it looks like we have three of the SOA members together on the south here. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty sim festival going on. We have Mapuche, China, China without stone. That would be on a second settle for Stonehenge. And Mali over here, next to Persia though. So Persia's all by himself over here with literally a one tile choke to get over to Mali, which then isn't great land to get to him. So this is actually probably gonna be, hey, heroin, finish your class. Um, so far all good for me. There, if you notice there was a little bit of visual tearing going on. I'm not sure what that was about. Uh, we're still waiting for them to end their turns, but everything is good so far on my end. You know, in game is fine. I have a couple things going on with my stream, but yeah. Um, I mean, I don't have a clip. It, it literally just stopped, but it was just like it was going all over the place, just back and forth. It was, it was like. I was seeing, you know, like in a lot of games, you can see inside the map sometimes, like underneath the map or something. It was kind of like that. Yeah, so I think, uh, and this is going to be um, a sim festival. We're definitely not going to see much war until tanks i think it, it's gonna be molly right here might be the the only problem i see or the early war that i see and molly is is outmatched in this situation especially an early game um so we'll see how more how he does how he fares with his immortals so I will I will periodically come back to here more often than anywhere else because I believe there may be some immortal push and once I realize that the immortal push isn't going to be there um, <clears throat> I'm going to put my focus on China and Egypt because oh you see the, the visual thing going on I'll, I'll put my focus more on Egypt and China because I think they're going to be competing with one another with culture victory. Persia, Persia honestly should just uh, block off these chokes, right? Not even go for the war and just, you know, he, he knows that when they pick when they, when each team pick they know that they have the only coastal save so he should realize he has this coast here just settle all those, as much coast as he possibly can and just basically play like a naval persia in a way you know make sure you can secure up these these this land here and you're good to go japan over here Big open area, lots of it. So it's seen. No, 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 they don't. They're not connected. So, yeah. All right, what are they each going for? So we got Persia going into mining, Mapuche going into. How many hexes away should cities be placed? The minimum is four tiles away. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, where is Hungary? I get it. The minimum, the minimum is that you can go is four. Um, but realistically, you want to like find good spots where you have, especially early, you want to find good production and growth. Uh, thank you for the follow, Roos. Roos, I think that's it. Yeah, where? 
Hungary is way down here. There's Hungary. So Hungary is all by himself. Yeah, it seems like either people are really are, are by themselves or they're surrounded by their teammates as their closest neighbors. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be more of a, a long game, I think, for sure. We're not going to see early war. Just not going to happen. Right, so we have... Uh, so I believe Egypt went into pottery. They're going to fast track their way to Etanamanki. Et they're going to grab Lady of Reeds and Marshes. And they're going to probably put it maybe in their in their cap. And try to get many of these tiles for their cap. Either way, or that, or in their second city. I would, pro I would settle here and just kind of take it over. Yeah, all this visual tank. I may have to just drop and reset. The only way I see any type of early early aggression would be from Hungary with a city state, but that's uh, unlikely. <laughs> Unless he goes with, yeah, like, yeah, there's, there's none. There's not going to be any early war. We'll see who can get the tanks first. Mapuche is in a bad position because he is by himself. And we have a goal. Eh, not really. They're not really in a bad position. Japan here as well. So Japan Japan could give China some problems later with if he settles along this coastline or inland up in that direction, he could probably get some samurais to him. He is going into sailing. Um, yeah, so chi China has to worry about a samurai push at this point. Once once he meets, once they realize where everyone is exactly, he'll he'll need to prepare for a samurai push, which what and with this type of terrain, it won't be difficult to, to, ma to manage. Um, Mapuche would need to worry more about, I guess, tanks. Like, if he can get the tanks, like, he doesn't really have much to worry about. Like, neither team has anything to worry about except BTS. They have to worry about uh, Persia doing something. And it looks like... Persia must have got a free builder from a hut because he went double scout so you wouldn't normally have a builder at this point and he went he went mining in the bronze working so he realizes where he's at double scout on Mapuche makes sense he went double scout he's all by himself he should go double scout uh, we got a scout into a settler on China um, he kind of is, he is kind of is by himself. Uh, <clears throat> preferably, I think in this situation is China, even though I know my neighbors are, I probably would have got another scout and sent it this way to see what was over here first and then went for a settler. We have, so it looks like he's doing the Mali production thing where he's like, Saving production one turn and applying it. It looks like, or he just went scout and he had to save it for a turn to do a settler. In this situation, as Molly, definitely you're way off by yourself. You'd want to go double scout. You have Persia working his way through that choke point. But it is nice to have that 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 settler earlier. This is the turn that they all vote on remap. Turn eight is remap. And we'll see if we'll see if there's a remap or not. Air no no proximo. What? It was in the next. That's what that translates to. 
Vote Tar, Agora, Vote Now. Oh, he was saying, I, I think he was saying it's Vote Now, and then next turn it would be a remap if it went through. Like, it, you wouldn't, you'd remap at the start of turn 9 instead of doing it at the end of turn 8. I believe that's what he was saying. But either way, the remap vote did not pass. Both teams are comfortable with using their using this map for their game. I believe in the CWC qualifiers, each of the teams, I think it follows CWC pretty closely. So the each, each of these teams gets two remap tokens. But neither one chose to use one on this map. They're, like I said, they're very comfortable. It looks like Persia and Mali are going to meet one another this this turn. And I'm going to wonder if that's going to change Mali's game plan. I'm also wondering if he's going to settle... Which way he's going to settle first. <clears throat> it might be best to settle here on the horse that way you get that immediate 2-2 two, two. I guess you and you also have a 1-3 as well but they did meet they finally met we have Gaul improved some copper got that that bomb going Egypt working on that the first settler yeah I think Egypt here I would get out I would go immediately, I would just go settler, settler. I'd go, like I said, they went scout. Actually, I probably wouldn't have even went scout. Knowing, eh, no, you don't know what's up in this area. So yeah, you would go a scout. I would go settler, settler now. I think he went double scout. Unless he got a free scout, I'm not sure. But other way, I, I would do back to back settlers. Ooh, see who fights to get that. So he's going over here. I did originally over there, so that's that's a good spot as well. Let's see who gets this uh, hut. The ship enters. <laughs> who gets it first? Who has who has the first move? Oh, Persia! Persia's got the ship enter first move. Got twenty gold out of that. So Molly realizes it got some one tile choke there. Hey Metal Bear, how you doing? China, they opted to go for a holy site because they didn't have a stone. Ooh, that feels bad. I feel like he would have seen this stone. I I would. If I saw this stone, I would go right here. I would I would go right onto this and settle there. Right on that, that plains hill and get the two two. Yep, yeah, middle bear. This is the final map they chose not to. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure when you got partner. I, I probably missed it, but congratulations on being partner. Nice of you to pop in. So it looks like they're doing what I mentioned. Uh, probably they're probably gonna settle here on on this side. Just stay along this river line. Settle here. They have a teammate that probably told them about the horses that they haven't already gone the horses themselves. And yeah, that's the that's the best spot to settle. We have Gaul settler out with the builders kind of gonna chop, chop, chop. One, so there's one charge on that builder. Going scout, hmm. So they're gonna have to get China uh, Warrior to put on, get a warrior to put on this holy site. For sure. Okay, looks like Persia is moving his way up there. Let's not neglect Mapuche. So Mapuche settler, he so he went out double settler as well, I believe. Uh, 
Jay's gonna work on getting these horses up. I wanna see a Chemomol come down. That'd be really, re this right here would be a really good Chemomol. I think you can put them on planes, I believe. Okay, so they got a Slinger. He's running a Holy Sight project. I don't know if anyone else is gonna contest him for religion. I feel like, I mean, unless he wants to try to make sure he gets Golden Age. Uh, Japan down here. I gotta remember, this is like SOA's side of the map here. So we're all the way up there. All right. I guess saves that as well. So we have, okay. <clears throat> they're not, they're on the same team. They're the only ones going for the religion. I, I don't know if I would run two. It depends on their era score. Yeah, he's short. He still has plenty of time. I don't know if I would run. I don't know if I would run. I don't think I'd run two projects. I'd maybe just run this one project and try to get another settler or get another unit. Yeah, a lot faster. This is a, a tournament. This is a 4v4 competitive qualifying match for the Civ World Cup that takes place I think every four to six months it's changed since he so he is gonna run another project he got one done I, I don't think it's worth doing two projects you're better off getting a shrine in there maybe grabbing a oh I didn't check to see who got what pantheons oh Look at me. I'm being a, a butthead. Fertility rights on China. Desert folklore on Mali. It's the plus six. Nothing there. Nothing there. Lady of Reeds and Marsh. Interesting they went in this direction. They were settled there instead of on the lake. Interesting. They are playing on a seven seas. This is a seven seas map. And there's only one coastal sieve. And that is Japan, who is down here. Oh, we have been neglecting Hungary. I'm probably gonna neglect Hungary a lot. I uh, kind of here in his little, own little island, so make sure you guys remind me to, to go back to Hungary and, and not forget about them. So it looks like Eg no no, Harry. Really, really. I don't know. I think that's a it's a miscommunication here on their team. I wouldn't it make more sense to have. I guess they don't have, they have equally as much. <clears throat> My build order strat, it depends. It depends on the land that you have. It depends on, it depends on who's your neighbor. Uh, but generally, it also depends if you're playing a team game or if you're playing like a free for all game, right? But generally in a team game, I like to go scout into a settler. And then in my cap after a settler, so scout, settler, monument, or builder, depending, depending on if I need the culture and if I don't need the culture and I need like a resource or something. Like for instance, Rome, Rome you don't nest you don't need you don't need the culture. You're gonna, you already got a free monument and you're gonna get another free monument in your, your next city. So I would go like a builder to improve iron or something. It, everything is, is turn by turn basis and you gotta like be ready to, to make a, a change on, on a whim. It, it just, it generally determine, is determined by what's around you. Yeah, 
Uh, like I said, team game, you can't, you all, you almost every FFA or team game, you're always going to go scout first. You're going to go scout into either a settler or another scout. It's either scout, scout, settler, or, or scout, settler. Sometimes, sometimes in rare and rare situations, you will, in a team game, you'll get somebody who will go a builder first and their team will buy them a scout. That's another strategy as well. Like if you have god awful land around you and you need to get some improvements to speed up your cities, go and build her first. Uh, I think Canada is a good example of that. Canada, the way Canada is structured now or how it works, um, you want to go with a builder first and have your team get you a scout. That way you can use the builder to improve your deer, your most likely you get a lot of copper, it seems like, because Canada. Except it depends. Uh, he went Earth Goddess. Makes makes sense. Um, Earth Goddess in BBG is <clears throat> charming or breathtaking. I disagree with that. I think it should just be breathtaking. <clears throat> but either way, he 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 chose that. We know he went with. Oh, he got his religion. He went divine inspiration in sacred places. So now it's time to get China Builder so he can get some wonders. It's kind of kind of odd that he hasn't gone for it slowed him down doing not having the stone immediately slows down China in the sense you have to get the holy site first and then you have to move your way back into wonders but it, it'll work he's got to get some wonders now he has his religion I don't think Molly ran any projects. No, he didn't run any projects. Team game, no barbs. Team team play of any kind, 2v2, even 1v1s. Um, just kind of like it's, you could get kind of screwed over with barbs and it seems like it's an unfair, unbalanced way of, of playing. Especially if, if a team, one of your team member gets griefed quite a bit by barbs, um, it can detrimentally change the outcome of the game. So they, they just turned off, which means that you can't with BBG you can't boost bronze working on your own. Um, so that means one of your teammates has to fully complete bronze working to get it. There is another competing mod called Legacy Better Balance Game. And they changed bronze working to be own three warriors and they changed archery to own two slingers. So it makes those easier to get by yourself. At the Mankey in three. Japan still hasn't gotten a. Um, Japan still has not gotten a Pantheon. Persia took God of War and Plunder. So he's, he knows where Mali is. He's planning on doing some type of war against Mali. But Mali is just going to do his best to just sit here. This volcano being active, I don't know if it's, if it's worth the risk doing that. I thought those things, three warriors equals one science turn, or two galleys equals one science. I don't know the... This is 25 science, so a boost is what, like a third, roughly? So you get two slingers and that gives you like, I don't know. There to 25 it's like it's like eight you got like eight science out of it and so yeah but it's it's meant to push you in a direction right of of, of playing the game Right, and this one's own three warriors, 
So it kind of wants you to protect your first warrior too. You want to keep that warrior alive because you, you already get that free warrior at the beginning. So you only have to get two warriors on top of that. But it says you have to own three. So you want to keep that warrior alive. Kilimanjaro, this is Vesuvius. Um, is there is there a Kilimanjaro that I missed? I like to keep also I like to keep the text on at the beginning. I like to keep the text on at the beginning so everyone can see what each person is doing as I as I pan across and show their individual situations. Count. Oh wow, beautiful. What's the appeal like down here? Ugh. Appeal bad. Yeah, like I said, I like to pan across and show people's individual situations and see what they're teching in those situations. You can see it on the screen. I may not talk about it, but that's that's why I do that. Looks like we'll check out the stats here. Five three six five. So no one's realistically any further than than anybody else. It looks like everyone's on pace to have a golden age or or get one and generally it's not difficult to get the first one in a, in a in a team game you share a lot of a lot of air score across the team especially with wonders and stuff I don't like how this is visually tearing something is not not right Molly just casually going to get he is running a project he does not need any error scores so i don't know i would just kind of just chill chill with that you're better off getting like a a builder or something in this city and improving tiles he is going currency got those sagubas up Work on getting those Sagubas. I think uh, a government plaza here with a Saguba there, a Saguba here, and a city maybe here. Should get that one three immediately. All right, he know he sees a scout there. He has that slinger. This scout's holding down uh, this volcano though. Yeah bothers me but he's holding it down because he doesn't want any any way for it they want to make sure purge is not getting through that early empire state workforce i'm on poetry on china has not has not even built a single wonder yet and it's also forward settling Japan pretty hard So I forget Jap Hungary Hungary is on their third city I believe the normal is like Five ish I think you might have got them Pantanal Got Kilimanjaro, Piotali, right here. This one I can't pronounce it, but that's when it gives you good general points. Uh. I think that's it. Okay, it looks like we got Persia Scout shipped entering away. He shipped entered to a spot. Now, Molly knows knows that they've already seen all this. They know that that's a choke point. He knows that that scout is gonna die. 
Uh, he he doesn't have shipped enter. He does not have shipped enter on Persia, but Persia moves moves to this spot. So in this situation, knowing what I would know as Molly, I wouldn't even try to shift enter this, right? I would I would let him I would as the slinger I would just let him come out. I'd hit him. If he tried to get out, I'd hit him. Oh no, 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 I knowing that he has shift enters on me, I would try to shift enter that and if, so if he doesn't want to shift under out, then yeah, but he's gonna try, so he's gonna beat it. He beats me, he's gonna hit him, and then try to hit him again. Right, he's bringing a slinger over here to do something with this scout. He's just chilling there. Um, Hungary hasn't done anything there. Let's see how Gaul is doing. Gaul has bronze working, so they're getting culture on those. No opetums yet. We have farms going up. Ooh, campus here. No one went for that. All right, he's starting to work on Oracle. Using those builder charges. He knows that he didn't get Ethan the Mankey, but he wasn't going to be able to get it anyway. Look at this Ethan the Mankey, wow. Then he went, he went God of the Sea, God of Craftsmen. Kind of lackluster Craftsmen, in a way. But he did get a horse out of it. Yep, yeah, unfortunately this isn't going to be an early war type of fun for people. It's just going to be mostly talking about what everyone's is doing you know they're gonna plan their way up looks like he built a chemo mall so this copper isn't here uh this icon didn't disappear but he chopped he chopped this out he had to chop it out to put a chemo mall there so he chopped it out put a chemo mall there it's a really nice chemo mall Improving that iron actually reduced the appeal on those tiles. It's a really nice gem mall. Um, can't chop out the ivory. This is a good campus spot. Obviously a campus spot there. You want his government plaza here. It looks like that scout did die. He, killed, he was able to kill the scout. He was able to move up on there and kill the scout. This scout just gonna, like I said, he's just doing whatever he can to hold tight, make sure that Persia is slowed down as much as possible so he can get his stuff going. <clears throat> Interesting to see where he puts his government plaza. So right, right about now, there's three turns. Right about now is the Mapuche has it right. Get get that government plaza placed and try to get that done. Like realistically, you should have your government plaza down and finished either before the end of the era or like really early in the next era. Like roughly turn 35 at the latest. It's like like that's kind of where you want it. I would even maybe go up to turn 40 if you're in a bad situation. But you really don't want to delay that government plaza. The earlier, the earlier you get it down, the better. But obviously, it's not the priority in a lot of situations. But yeah, Mapuche has it right. I don't know about this particular spot, but it's really good for commercial hubs here. Commercial hub. Um, probably do an aqueduct here if you needed. Uh, industrial zone. Literally, you can put two commercial hubs here. Work. 
whatever. So he's gonna get this builder over there. He's working on getting that oracle done. He either doesn't have anyone contesting him for it, but I'm gonna get these wonders down as quickly as possible because for every wonder that he doesn't have in these cities, well, he has to get his religion over there. Otherwise, he's not gonna benefit. Right? The whole the whole reason why China goes with with this religion, divine inspiration, and sacred places is because you want to you want that early you want that early game right the plus six faith per wonder if you get three wonders pretty early you can put yourself in a strong monumentality the fact that you're not even going to have one wonder done by the end of the first age that's 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 not ideal right that's not ideal for china You, you want to get as many of these you want to you want to get realistically you want to get two wonders if you can get two wonders pretty early and it's easy to do with the builders right? you get you get like you get your builders out you get wonders in your capital right because otherwise you need to get the religion over there which it's going to pass the together anyway it's good but you want to get like at least two because that's literally what two two wonders it's 12 faith 13 faith or 14 faith two science two culture two gold no that has each say so, okay so yeah i got that right yeah because it's but if it's and if it's two cities that have a wonder then it goes up more so you gotta if you gotta wonder in this city and this cap that would be an additional um, it'd be on top of the two hundred given top eight. That'd be plus four science, culture, gold, and faith on top of that because they're in two separate cities. They're following the religion. And the point where I'm making is, you want that as early as you possibly can get it because it helps you snowball. And everything here is just really delayed on China's part. Super delayed. You got it. So what I would get at here is with China, I think what the mistake was, was running those two profit, those two projects. Run the one if you, if you really want to like put it in there and then work on the wonders with your builders. Work on getting Oracle much, much sooner. And try to grab like a, he can't have great pass. He doesn't really have a lot that he can do, All right? But at least get the Oracle down much earlier and then get your religion. Because no one's contesting it. Oh, there's the first immortal. All right, let's see who got what. Go pen brush, pen brush on Persia, pen brush on on everybody on SOA. All pen brush. We have doesn't say. He didn't pick yet, I guess. Monumentality on Mali. And monumentality on China. Pen brush on them. And Mapuche will most likely go pen brush as well. Interesting that he didn't go for inquiry here. Looks like he didn't have the harbors down already. He's like, I'll just go I'll go pen brush, I'll increase my sign or I'll increase my culture and i will rush towards samurais and i'll push china with samurais a lot sooner so i think that's his game plan is as japan go for samurais as quickly as possible i believe this one samurais come at feudalism so get the samurais quick push china with those so that, that might be our earliest like decent war that we can look at All right, we have Gaul Gaul's doing a lot of Gaul things the Opedum's down got it down this turn we didn't check out Molly so core music and defender so he went core music and defender doesn't have any shrines up yet oh yeah he has a one he has one shrine no he doesn't no shrines yet he put the Saguba here 
He might. Way, I don't know. Way up. Government Plaza down there. Finish the Government Plaza next step. So turn 33, the first Government Plaza is down. Egypt is going for commercial hubs. Went for that early campus. The only one, the only person has a campus. Their yields are all looking pretty, pretty even, pretty equal. More cities coming out. Government Plaza turn 34 on Gaul. Nice. This is a plus two. Oof. This will bring it up to a plus three, I believe. Um, the problem with this is you need it to be next to another mine. Right. This would have been a better spot for it on this river next to next to this stone and then two mines. Or knowing or knowing what I know. Yeah, it's difficult. You gotta think. You gotta think ahead with with Gaul. Like you, you just you gotta think ahead. Um, she's going for Temple of Artemis as well. It gets Oracle next turn. He already has religion in these cities, so. You can buy the builder. Yeah, so the other thing is you can really snowball. Oh, hey, hey, Bex. Sorry. You got to use the light sometimes. And Camilo. You got to use the light sometimes to get my attention. This is how you do it. Did that just change? On its own? Why did that change? That's weird. Yeah, but that's what you gotta do sometimes. Control control the lights to get my attention if I'm, if I'm not saying something to you. So I have the fourth city down there. Monumentality is so strong. We have two immortals coming over here to cause some some havoc. Wreak, wreak some havoc, I guess. So government plaza down. Looks like you went for a Magnus. Gonna do Magnus chops. We have monuments. Really doubling down on that culture. I guess, yeah, you really want to get this government plaza down in your cap then. We have Sphinx here. Come on, feel the noise. Girl, rock your voice. There he's getting builders out too. Harry built first galley. Yep, that's. I'm pretty sure that's his plan is to get to those as quickly as can. So we have Oracle finishing on China so that there is uh, plus six faith for him plus an additional two of each yield. You, oh, looks like Hungary finally discovered Pantanal. Four cities there going entertainment complex. I think he's going to really gonna try to take Colosseum from China your own teammate
He has five cities. Hungry down here, going to work. Yeah, so we're on a seven seas map and we're not really gonna rely on any naval. If there would have been like probably like a couple more naval leaders picked, we probably would have seen naval war. We would have seen at least an early naval war, but they were not picked. Hungary and Persia, Poss, no, they're not on the same. Uh, well, Hungary's in a position where he could fight naval on both sides. Under, you're such a troll. <laughs> Come on, King of the Norse. Then he hasn't used the Builder Charge yet. So he'll use the Charge and it should bring down the one turn. I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll be enough to finish, but it will bring it down the one turn. So he'll get Temple next turn. He's going for Hanging Gardens. So he has one in each city. That's that'll be an extra six uh, science, culture, faith, and gold for each of these cities. Um, he has a settler coming out. So he uses monumentality to buy builders to do what China does. He played. He played it right. He played. He played it right. I did finish. Oh, it was enough. He did put. I I thought it would have been more important to do to not do the projects uh, since no one was contesting. I think it would have been more beneficial to get one of those wonders earlier. Molly will, it's only two immortals. More will be on, on their way, but Molly's in a decent spot. He's got one Saguba down already. He's working on getting two more down. He got this nice little diamond going. Two holy sites and Sagubas. Contrary to belief, with the Saguba's Holy Sight combo, uh, Tordred. Tordred is, is well known to play non-faith, non-religion Molly and just go straight to Saguba. Thanks, Ender, for the gifted. The gifted sub. You are now leading, Croak. I'm gonna have to compete with you. I mean, what, 398 more and you'll be even with me? All right, there's, so this is a what? This is a theater square, government plaza there. I thought that was hanging, yeah, it's hanging gardens. There's government plaza, this, this is, what? Oh, here, I was like, what? So there's a the theater square, there's government plaza. Me, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm I'm doing well enough that I'm, have the opportunity to cast a game in, in the Brazilian League CWC qualifier. I was happy that I, I got this one. Um, it seemed like I missed the last CWC qualifiers for for the Brazilian League. There, there's a lot of people in in this community that I, I like. I enjoy. I enjoy Metal Bear, Bochan, Arween. I, I thoroughly enjoy everyone. Um, there was, there was more. I forgot. There's, there's so many people that, that have come over here to my, to my channel and from, from the Brazilian league, the Brazilian community, and I honestly can not be happy enough. And Torja is not in the Brazilian league. They have a rule um, under. In in the Brazilian CWC qualifiers, they have a rule where no team can have more than I think two, two non-native um, Brazilian players. So like you have to be native to 
Brazil, I believe. Or South America. Yeah, like like that region. Well, under I I think I, I will be planning on playing more in the Brazilian community. Their time frame is I think an hour yeah, hour ahead of mine. So it's it's nine PM for them. Nine fifteen PM. You're good too. I want to apologize because I got late to verify the both Brazilian teams, so I missed a window to verify if everything is okay with you. I'm a monitor for you, like okay. That's awesome. Um, oh yeah, everything's fine with me. Everything's fine with me. Everything went off with a hitch um i i just saw that no oh whoa whoa sorry look at this nice little island get a little screenshot of that can't even get to it <laughs> gotta do some global gotta do some global warming to get there yeah uh, everything's fine for me uh i just i saw that no one was casting this game and i said hey um I could cast it. It's around the time frame for me. Um, you know, the the CPL uh, qualifiers for Friday they're much earlier when I, I'm kind of at work, so I can't really do anything with those games. I have to like kind of just wait till Saturday and Sunday, and then I asked to do this one on Friday because it was more in line with my time frame, and then I got one for Saturday and Sunday with CPL, but. I gave it the one on Sunday because it was two English casters and I was like, that eh, doesn't make sense to me to have two English casters. I'd rather just have one of each language. That's different. Let's uh, let's talk about the game a little bit. So it looks like uh, Mali is going to run some merchant projects. He sees that Egypt is competing on that front. Big country. Brazil. Brazil's a big... Yeah, it is a pretty large. I don't. I don't think they would have. I think they would have like two time zones, wouldn't they? They're they're large, but they're more. I think they're more north to south instead of east to west, right? They're more tall than they are wide. Or or do I have my geography all messed up? So we have a interesting. He put. Did he put? I oh, put it over here. Interesting. He chopped out the maze. The icons. They gotta do something with that with the icons in the spectator mod, so they actually disappear when they're supposed to. So looks like they went there, getting a encampment. All right. So it seems like we might actually see some some earlier earlier units warring. We have, we have units coming from Mapuche and Gaul. They're coming at each other. Ancestral Hall, really? Ancestral Hall, Ancestral Hall. Got a free pillage off there from Mapuche. Ancestral Halls, really? Was there a change that I'm unaware of? He went audience chamber. He's going audience chamber. This is SOA, so I don't I said I don't know how good they are, but I don't I don't see the benefit here, especially for Gaul, right? To go audience chamber because you're in between two of your teammates. You're all competing for this land. Not each not everyone's gonna like Egypt actually has a good bit of land that they can expand into. I can see where they could get some use and benefit out of it. But for Gaul, it doesn't doesn't really make sense to me. Plus you're going into war, you're gonna be putting pressure on the Mapuche or dealing with 
defending against Makuche. I mean, I guess he could take all of this land here, but you gotta think, that's, you're probably gonna get what? I mean, realistically, you're gonna get three more cities, but if you're gonna get an ancestral hall, you need like, from this point, you would need another, at least six cities to make it even worth it, right? His government plaza here. He went. He doesn't have a building yet. Uh, China doesn't have a building yet either. They're going audience chamber though. Getting those settlers out. Getting gonna get up to six cities pretty quickly. Seven cities as quickly as I can. So we have M Mali back settling toward China. Just uh, have one little forest settle there. Persia. Getting in there, probably gonna get a road, so this makes it, this one tile choke a lot easier to deal with. Molly um, is gonna be in for a hurting if he doesn't if he doesn't manage it. So we have a Persia scout up here who may try to get some pillages in as well, but not with these Mapuche horses. They're just he's not it's not gonna get, be allowed to do anything. Where is Japan? Japan six turns, and that is where um, samurais are, I believe. I'll, I'll check the Sublopedia. Said the guy who built Government Plaza turn eighty. <laughs> uh, wait, did under did you ever build a Government Plaza turn eighty? Man at arms, replacement, feudalism, yeah. So Japan is five turns off samurais. He has two three pre-builds, if you want to call them pre-builds. He's getting more. Do they have the gold? Do they have the gold to do this? Persia, they do have enough gold to do something. Do they have the niter? I think they need niter, right? I just checked it too. No, they don't. They don't need niter. They need iron. I have plenty of iron. Oh, I didn't realize you left, Arwen. Welcome back. Hanging gardens, getting those down. No one's getting any great rare points yet. Um, but China will be starting getting starting to get some next turn. We have an encampment here. Yeah, you want to get this city settled and get a get a trade route going back as quickly as possible to get a road there. Yeah, another forward settle here. Yeah. He doesn't have he does not have a Classical unit. Gaul does not have a classical unit. He's stuck on three cities. I think Gaul's a rallying himself. What do you guys think? There is a reward to his channel. Hungry Levy Trolls win. I don't know about Unders. He has the Slinger one, right? Build a Slinger, but with the other better balance game mod kind of makes sense to have the slingers right you want to build two slingers to get that boost mm. oh wow you can get great bath on this jeez this thing's floated like four times already depends in a strong spot all right, he's getting a classical unit up. I think he saw. Well, that this this twenty two strength is from a, from one galley. Greed, who first swordsman? Someone just had a swordsman. Ah, uh, this guy Mapuche is greed. So Mapuche has the classical units. Anyone get any? No, no one's got any great generals yet. Persia is the closest. 
Mokuche is getting... <laughs> oh, he, he is going to manage to get some pillages off. What is Mokuche doing? What are you doing with this horse? You don't see him in, in your land? Like, get that horse up there. He's gonna come in here and pillage whatever he wants. What are you doing? D don't let him get those free pillages off. Should have moved that last turn. What? It, it was here before. I know it was sitting here, and his this Persian scout was was here, and he had a horse here. It sh that this scout should have never even made it in that's probably so it would have made it in to the city but this this horse should have stopped it there there's no excuse for this for this scout being in there just none just complete neglect just neglect would you guys see that flash this there's some visual tearing going on in the game Chariot Archer. Do you see the visual tearing going on? Why is it doing that? So we got a sword coming out on Gaul. Yeah, PC is garbage. Maybe my graphics card's just going, going the butt. There he is. I was waiting for you to pop in. There he is. I'm not even hosting. Someone else is hosting. All right, so we have, so they bought him a, a sword. Oh yeah, I meant to show show the stats. Um, 16, 17, so they're, they're roughly equal. Not a whole lot of these coming through. Chris, thank you for the follow. Oh, for anybody who has, has followed this stream, just stay tuned toward the end of the stream. Um, I will, I like to go back through and read everyone's name off once again, just to kind of give, uh, recognition to everyone who subscribed, um, get the subscriptions, followed, all that good stuff. We have, oh, thank you for your follow, Keto. Is that all right? Keto. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you play or cast him, I will watch you. Awesome. Well, how come it took you this long to find me and follow me? I did cast some CDBC games before, but I really wasn't taking it um, as seriously as some other people. Um, some of the people like Michael on Spot TV, uh, Normulator, this guy's kind of got really stepped into it and they got partner out of it. And I'm, I'm happy with them. I missed that opportunity. Thank you for your follow. Can I just say Bell? Or is it Jabel? Or Belly? Let's go with Bell. I I'll just say Bell. Belly. Belle. Yeah, I do I do like um I don't know how many qualifier games you guys have. I don't know when you guys started. Like I was just so out of touch with with um with the Brazilian community and their qualifiers. Hopefully there's a lot more to be casted and I, I will cast them. Uh, your time your time frame is much better for me than than a lot of like the CPL ones because it seems like a lot of those time frames are more in line with like the the European time zones. <laughs> Bele. So, so yeah, the, the time, the time, the timing of these games are usually better for me. So yeah, I, I really want to cast more of these games. We started about two weeks ago. We're still going to go for two more weeks um, for the group phase. Okay.
<laughs> I I don't know this dude. You'd have to ask Arwen. I I don't know. All right, Apadana on China is building Apadana. So we have yep. We I mean it's kind of this is kind of the timing. This is kind of a late timing for classical units to be warring, but given how everyone is kind of spaced out, it makes sense you at least want to you get your pre-builds and you're gonna like try to do something with them. Mapuche is running projects for that. General. No scientists were picked yet. Um I think one merchant has gone, yeah. One merchant, two merchants gone. Three, whoa, three merchants gone. Yeah, they're they're preparing to war one another. They know that's gonna happen. The thing is though, Egypt's also preparing for kind of a war and Mapuche is gonna have to deal with 2v1, which I think kind of balances out with their golden age bonuses um, Japan Japan has feudalism don't see any samurais yet let's check on Hungary they're over here kind of by themselves they did they did get Colosseum congrats congrats Colosseum there there's a Persian galley coming over here and Hungary is gonna get their own galley out this guy won't be able to do anything. There's nothing to pillage anyway. But yeah, that galley will cause some issues down the line. Getting some units there. Um, who's in control of what? I don't know the names of people. Porcado. So he has Bologna. It's the only one he has is Bologna. So he has one way up here and he did he did okay what's he gonna do with these uh send them over to persia on this on this front he could actually cause quite a bit of grief on this front with those so if which did run a project egypt's running a project no general so all four generals are still there you want to see the city state screen? Yeah, this is it. El Eli, Eli, Eli. I'm really saying these names terribly. So it looks like BTS. They're controlling more city states. They're controlling them. They're they're controlling. They're the only ones who have control of city states, except for. No, yeah, they're the only ones controlling city states. Eli. LA. I don't know. I'm gonna say LA. That's the first one. Eli, second one. Which one? Eli. Okay. Eli. Ely. <laughs> it's, I don't know. China player and <clears throat> we are good. You mean like China here? Li. Li. Got it. Perfect. I guess I just had to look at it again and just think. Think real hard.
The name of this city always gets me. I, I don't like that city name. All right, so we only got one up heat him down. Where are they going with, wow, Japan, China. Oh, he's just killing it on stats. Look at this, it's crazy. But does he realize Mali got a general, Mapuche is going to get a general, Egypt's going to get a general, and Persia's probably going to get a general. Somebody's not going to get this general, but it doesn't matter because Japan doesn't, Japan can do the next one. Japan, yeah, Japan getting, he doesn't need, he doesn't need a classical, he needs a medieval. But he, I don't, they have, yeah, he has the gold. He, China is going to get hit with samurais, and he doesn't have anything to defend it as of right now. He's getting an encampment, he has a couple archers, but he's out, uh, he's going to have... He's going to have crossbows, but samurais are, okay, they're men at arms, so crossbows will be fine. Yeah, four turns on, on machinery, working on getting control of the writers, the early writers. China is not going to get a general. Egypt doesn't even need a general. So they'd be better off letting Japan get a general. <clears throat> Mapuche is going to get one regardless. Gaul, Gaul's probably not going to get one. <clears throat> He's not even projecting for it. So Gaul's not going to get one for classicals. <clears throat> Pyramids. So probably put a theater square there then. Yeah, Gaul, oh, he did, he managed to get cities. He's gonna have six cities. I think he's, oh he is, he started building them, but he real, I think he realizes that he's not getting a general. Mapuche has that, that bonus combat strength for being in a golden age, I think. Yeah, they're, He's still in a golden age. Um, he's gonna end up probably going into a dark. So getting the the walls up is kind of a, a good deterrent. Plus he has an encampment and a pedum, which would be two more set of walls. Really, really easy to to defend that. Ooh, Anshan. Who took control of Anshan? <laughs> Li. Li got it. So Li is just controlling as much of these as they possibly can. Egypt, Egypt actually has Mogadishu. Is he gonna settle here? Or is he gonna settle on the Coco? Yeah, I think it's better to settle on the Coco. You immediately get, you don't have to have irrigation. You immediately get that, that luxury. I saw it, Arween. I saw it. Boom, Dia. Boatard. If you want to sound more casual and cute and friendly, you say you can say OE. Right. <laughs> The expressions are there on on what they're, but like how to pronounce them, how to pronounce them is is what I'm gonna have problems with. So it's nice to have where people are gonna write something and I can read it. I did notice uh, some. It's not a lot. Don't like. I don't want to like <laughs> offend offend anybody, but. Portuguese, it seems there's some like minor similarities to French. 
if that makes a little bit of sense. Like it's, they're, they're like, I mean, it's, like it's, it's minor. It's, it's minor similarities, but I, I did get a little bit of vibe of like some French there. I think it was earlier, somebody said something, it was like, I can't even remember, it was like F-A-U-T, or F-A-I-T, it was F-A-I-T something, and I was like, oh yeah, that's, that, that's probably something regarding like doing something, like fair, like F-A-I-R-E, uh, fair is the French verb, I guess, for doing, like you're doing something. And you can use like fay, F-A-I-T. Yeah, yeah, it's like you're, it's, yeah. I, I don't know how, to, it's been a while, I can't really explain it. I, I don't think I've ever heard a French person say, like seriously say we oui, we, oui. like why would you say yes yes? There there's no need to say yes yes. Joss Lub, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so we have general okay let's check the generals let's check the generals persia japan mapuche and mali got the generals so we have walls up on mali we have the immortals sitting out there we have a sword we have some archers this war isn't going anywhere um Molly is getting 84 gold per turn. He's keeping up relative. Yeah, he's keeping up easily with Persia on stats. They're, they're pretty much equal. He's not going to make that push. Like I said, we didn't, we're not going to see any anything definitive until tanks. I'm surprised that we're going to. We're not even going to see anything down here. He got the walls up. Like I said, we're not seeing anything till till tanks. But it was like a little, like a little cash push, I guess called cash grab. It's like people rush to get those generals, like that little bit of cold, cold war mentality on this front pushed, pushed the teams to actually put some units down. So we have hang gardens there, Oracle. We have samurai, like these are literally samurai pre-builds. He has a samurai coming out, like the samurais are on the way. He's getting, he should, I think he has Machinery, he's working toward really. You need units, bud. He might be trying to get some knight pre builds. Knight, knights will bear. That's what, what, 40? Well, knights are 50, so 48 versus 50. But Japan does have a general. For them so we're gonna talk what 53 to 50 so a plus three advantage a plus three advantage against the Knights and he has machinery so he'll have crossbows if, if he if he pays attention to the military strength he's the problem here with, with the Samurais is they're going to take so long to get through this terrain to make it there, right? 
and that gives him plenty of time to get these knight pre-builds and work into stirrups if he doesn't already have it i'm gonna check yeah he's like he has one he can one turn he so he's just getting the pre-builds now so he's gonna have night tech it's gonna be kind of like a it's this isn't gonna be an attack that he's gonna expect to to win anything right he did all this because he wanted to, I think, get this power spike timing, go for it. Remember, he went pen, brush, and voice to get the samurais much quicker. But it's not going to go anywhere. This this push, it was dead in the water from the very beginning. It was never going to happen. I was hoping something would happen here, but Mapuche is not able to push into this. It's not even worth investing more into, into trying to, 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 to do much. Um, Egypt and Gaul could try to push Mapuche together, but that effectively like makes them irrelevant. We have a plus two campus here, plus four commercial hall. Hmm. Oh, friends, thanks for joining in on the server. Thank you, thank you. Um, the way the way I have things set up, you pretty much choose every channel that you want to see or not see, and you can make that decision at any point. If you don't want to see a channel anymore, you can just remove the rule from yourself and move on. I plan on having, for my Discord server, I plan on having individual like gaming communities. Um, so people who... Like I have people who play like um, Warzone, like Call of Duty, and then I have people who, not really anybody playing Civ right now, but like eventually, like I'd like to have, you know, multiple different communities for people to play and be a part of. Like in like how there's like a whole server for a specific community. I like I would like mine to be more to be more of a multi multi game. That's fine. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't care if my Discord server is successful. Mostly, mostly, what I have the server for is uh, for people to, you know, see my schedule and just, you know, directly communicate with me. That's really, that's really all it is. So if if people join in and, and uh, under I did I did stop the giveaways I just wasn't getting people people weren't participating so I stopped uh, because I had a couple people who who won their giveaways but they weren't they weren't even accepting them um, or or they they were just they didn't even know that they won and it's like they're not even paying attention so if people aren't gonna pay attention. Oh yeah, I should change. I mean, I, I can go back. Um, I could do like a giveaway a month or something. I was doing weekly giveaways. It just, people, people weren't paying attention. People didn't care enough. So I kind of just stopped. And I forgot to change the command, the, the reminder on Twitch. To, to not have that anymore. I can't, I'm, I mean, I could name a city, but I'm not going to. Not for a cast. Come on, feel the So we have Hungary down here just kind of doing his thing. Yeah, I think BTS is in the strong position here. 
Yeah, they're they're in a strong position. I don't think they're they're better simmers, I believe. I don't know who's better at war, but they're clearly the better sim the sim team. And yeah. We have the samurais. Like the samurais are, they're on the way. There's a, quite a bit of samurais. What is this visual tearing? Do you see this? This is terrible. I see your point. It seems like it doesn't pop up until I go over Gaul. And when I leave Gaul's area... As soon as I go into Gaul. Huh. Hey, yeah, it's... It's that part of the map. About right here, over. Yeah, that part of the map is the problem. Ooh, we even got the Great Wall up here. He's gonna finish stirrups next turn. He'll upgrade all of these in the Knights. I gotta stay off the Gaul. As soon as I go into Gaul, like it does that. Apadana there, Grandmaster's Chapel, 55 for turn. Thank you for the follow, Kafasa? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's definitely the, it's not quite About right there is where it starts. Not cool. Kafasa. <laughs> it's this may sound terrible, but it I looked at it and I was like Fasa, like Mufasa, so I was like Kalfasa. I'm not sure if everyone knows who Mufasa is, but that's a reference to Lion King. The Lion King. Whoa! <laughs> That's always crazy. Alright, where's the knights? I'm just gonna put the great wall here as well. I wanna see some crouching tigers actually. Did he. S crouching tigers come at machinery, right? Yep, just line those up. Tons of samurais. They're everywhere. Bro, oh, Japan, man. It's at the, at the Mankey's. Awesome. We have he's still continuing with this push. He's like, I gotta put pressure on him. Keep him on his toes. Uh, looks like Hungary has Mogadishu. Not sure if he lost. No, he still has it. He just didn't do anything with his units. Oh actually they're dead, so maybe he did do something with them. No, yeah, they're, he did. They're coming down here. He's gonna come down here and Annoy. Oh, maybe use these units to take Granada. Algum Sejors Apricidoris. Apricidoris. I don't know. I would imagine Apricidoris, he appreciates something. He's going Grandmaster, so he'll be able to, oh yeah, some Crouching Tigers. Yeah. Oh, they got plus four combat strength from Oligarchy. The Knight, they have Military Alliance, Ideal Terrain. Uh, 
George, like George is like George, right? It's like English. The English equivalent will be George. Grandmaster as well. Audience chamber, turn 60. He's going intelligence agency to get that spy going. Yeah, this is a pretty good defensible land. I think Gaul, I thought Gaul was gonna be the aggressor here, but he's playing more defensively. Yeah, you're not pushing into China here. China, I honestly would be surprised if if this game lasted longer than 100 turns. Gotta stay off that color. Encampment training. So he's projecting for a general to trying to get a medieval general. Also gonna go for that Stonehenge. Get a free evangelization. So yep, there we go. Pagodas and Tithe for Molly. Pagodas and Tithe to get more gold. Gold, gold, gold is all you do for Molly. Gold, gold, gold. Statue of Zeus. Awesome, awesome. Tithe. Do you know, you know what Tithe does? Plus two for each city following a religion. So, well, two. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, just from that. It's overkill. It's overkill on Molly. I probably would have went something more of like cross-cultural dialogue to get more science. Right? You try to get 113. Egypt's finally getting some some writers writer points, but it looks like China's gonna get all the early writers. That really puts them in a significant lead. I don't know if they're gonna be able to defend the culture victory. Their biggest way to deal with it is already <laughs> stopped because of of China, Knights Crouching Tigers with Great Wall. He's actually doing a really good Great Wall. Connecting multiple pieces together. Unfortunately, you can't put Great Wall on that tile. Brazil has amazing folk music. I think my grandma listened to a lot of folk music. Can't remember, but I did enjoy, I think I, I did enjoy music like that. It's, it's, it's like fun, uplifting type of music. And I, I think I thoroughly did enjoy it. Now the, the now they can't do the ears for there. Actually, they can. This one's in... What city? Longxi. So, yeah, the capital doesn't have one yet. I believe. 
Yeah, the capital doesn't have one yet, so that's where they're gonna put the capital. It's actually a really good theater square. Yeah, this this push is is gone. Like your samurais aren't gonna do anything. Not with these crouching tigers sitting on a great wall. And you have knights, like look at this. 85 strength knight, just sitting there defensively on, on the Great Wall. I haven't seen any Diplo Quarters when I was scrolling around. I haven't seen any. You don't, you definitely don't want to delay those. Yeah, I don't think there's any Diplo Quarters. Molly has Pagodas. Yeah, I haven't seen any Diplo Quarters. Yeah, there, there are none. No, no one has built a Diplo Quarter yet. Extremer, I have heard, is like old. Whoa, why is this under siege? Oh, I have a bug. There we go. It's like, why is it under siege? There's no units there. I was like, wait a minute, spotty unit. The icons were gone. Yeah, like I said, there's no one's going to do much of anything until, you know tanks most likely. You might see a Kirasir attempt, but realistically the meta is tanks for a reason. These crouching tigers are just ugh. He's gonna try he's not gonna uh, he might he might be able to come in behind and try to raise a city. But here's the thing he has more knights coming out he can just send these guys like i would send he has this that locked down send these over there to block Come on, feel the noise. Girl, rock the boys. I said, wah, wah, wah. see the boys all the boys seeing all the boys Bom Joga Galera 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 Bom Jogo Galera <laughs> We've got Hungary over here going foreign ministry he would be the one I think would go with for a Diplo Quarter, but he does. He does have a Diplo Quarter right here. He does have a Diplo Quarter. I don't know why the search wasn't working. That's, but I think that is the only Diplo Quarter I've seen. Um, Preserve, no one's gonna pick anything at that. It'll have no effect. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna do anything with trade CC. There's only one. And obviously me. I, I want to show Gaul's land, but it just, the visual tearing is just not okay. Ooh, Malon Raider. Malon Raiders, they're here. They're here to do some, some dirty work. I actually didn't notice about the scientists. Scientist, scientist. 
scientist. Mapuche, Mapuche got that. China did get a general. I don't think. Yeah, only only China's getting got got all the one or got yeah got all the raiders. Yeah, China is just in a very powerful position. Super strong position here. Do you even counter push? Honestly, counter push. Yeah, counter push into Japan. Molly's gonna take Johannesburg. Persia's obviously not gonna do anything there. Kind of just keeping a presence to be annoying. I think he did too much with. He, he either overcommitted or undercommitted into the naval. And I, I really think he's undercommitting. And it's, it's, it's either he. He, I think he undercommitted into the naval and overcommitted into this land type of war. But he's not in a strong position now. He's he's actually in a very difficult position because he has Hungary down here going cartography and the caravels. The caravels are gonna come up here. Now, I don't I don't know if Hungary has seen the land or how much that they actually truly know. Right, so he he doesn't know how many cities he has on the coast but from our point of view there's only one so he over commits into the carabels just to take one city it's like eh, be a waste okay so a lot of wasted resources for one city mm -hmm. but he could go take Mogadishu because i think the other no his team has control of that he has control of the issue. But I think Hungary is going to take control of the, the ocean on this side. He'll control that. Hungary on gold, 83 per turn. So th they have the gold advantage. They have the science advantage, the culture advantage. BTS, they're just all around in control of this game. It's it's their game. I honestly would be comfortable saying it's over at this point. I don't think the other team has a, has a chance of uh, switching this around, turning this around and winning the game. But I do want to just see them play it out and I want to see some, some action. I'm hoping that it stays that way. What are you putting YouTube links here? I'm not gonna watch those. Dead embryonic cells. You think you trying to get me banned? Try to get me banned? Copyright DMCA strike. Can't listen to that. Oh, Mandakalu, Mandakalu. More Malon Raiders. They're coming over here to do some pilly willies on Egypt. Oof. That guy's 
Oh no, they're already attacked. Honestly, surround it. Move this knight here. Move, move this uh, spearman down. <clears throat> I think at this point you need to realize he needs to realize that this is a good this is a good counter push opportunity. <clears throat> Kill off these samurais as much as he can. This this is a dead dead in the water attack as well. <clears throat> oh we've been streaming for two hours already. Jeez. I can't I can't look at Gaul, like this this whole section of the map I just I can't look at because of the visual tearing that sound got to do something about these units he's got to take control of of these tiles honestly wrapping wrapping one of these knights around the backside wouldn't be a bad idea maybe even two two of them wrap them around just send them down this way and either force him to move this samurai off this tile to get to block here and you can actually progress forward with your units you can move this forward and get another um crouching tiger here and then move yeah five units hit it's gonna do something hojo dead at ballistics yeah, probably. This this city is gonna disappear from Persia. He's stuck at he's stuck at six cities. So yeah, he's kind of a rel. Gaul seven cities, not too bad. Oof. The Malon Raiders are doing some some damage here. Get off my screen, Gaul. I can't. Super annoying. Still bad. Smack, smack, smack. That city's gone. Gone. <clears throat> Egypt was not. That's that's their culture defense, right? If he if he can do. A, enough damage to Egypt and raise some city like raise a good chunk of the cities they'll they'll cut they'll concede because th that's the because this push this push isn't getting anywhere from Japan we missed these moves Th this push didn't go anywhere from Japan and their only culture defense at this moment is Egypt and I think he realizes that greed greed the seventh greed seven he sees that. I mean, it only took two hits. He hit it with two Malon Raiders at the beginning of the turn. He hit it. He hit it with. I think he hit it with three before, or two maybe, and then he hit it with another two in you know, the next turn, and it was enough. They do quite a bit of damage. Yo, he doesn't have. He doesn't have a, a unit from from the same era. He needs a knight. If, he, if his team can get him a knight, then these cities will actually survive. He just does the the city strength isn't there, right? He forty five, 
you know, and they got like a 36, 33, like 35 ish. He needs, he needs a knight to increase his city strength. Diplo quarter there from China. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're in the, the strong way. There's nothing they're gonna do to be able to do to stop the culture victory. Especially Egypt has to deal with Mapuche. In my opinion, Mapuche is uh, a leader that needs to be <laughs> banned. That'd be cool. I'm oh, sorry. This knight's gone though. So trade what? Trading a knight for a samurai? Still hit it. Yeah. Ooh, into the marsh. Not good, because you can still get shot. Hit. Shot there. Hit. I don't think you can shoot with that one. This is where they're doing all the moves. More crouching tigers. Egypt. Getting, oh, there's the knight. There's the knight. City strengths are going up. One dollar. Are you are you messing with me? I don't see that city. Said Gaul, right? There is no city. There's all the cities. Yep, there is, yeah, there's a CC. Though its face may change throughout the ages, history is written from the... Yeah, there's nothing they can do. Their only culture defense was Egypt, and Mapuche just stories a city. Yep, BTS won. your actions this day, you ensure our people a glorious tomorrow. Yep. GG SOA, they conceded. Like I said, they they their only culture defense was Egypt and Mali's doing very well in science as well. Just outmatched. I mean they're the previous champs for a reason, right? Previous Brazilian champs. I hope I really hope uh whatever team wins, if it's BTS in this this qualifier i hope the brazilian team makes it much further in, in this ewc in the next one be really really cool but i don't want to continue with this any longer than i need to i i do like to go back through and give a shout out to everybody who followed and whatnot uh, so without any further ado Kalfasa, thank you for your follow. Uh, Joe Slub, thank you for your follow. Bele, thank you for your follow. Keto, thank you for your follow. Chris, thank you for your follow. Under, thanks for uh, the gifted tier one sub to Arween. Roos, thank you for your follow. And uh, appreciate you mentioning about being a referee and whatnot. Morita, thank you for your follow. Jao Jom, thank you for your follow. 
Danielle, thank you for your follow. Case, thank you for your follow. Wefi, thank you for your follow. And the person who, uh, Ar Artemis, 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 yeah. Artemisi. Artemisi, thank you for your follow. Uh, there were some follows while I was off stream. Uh, Jer, thank you for your follow. On Andre, thank you for your follow. Z tag thirty three, thank you for your follow. I believe that's it. Uh, I don't remember saying anything about Escher. So Escher, thank you for follow. It was twelve days ago, but I'm here now. Thank you for your follow. Hopefully you see it and you recognize it. Recreation, same thing. Twelve days ago, thank you for your follow as well. Loco Norua, thank you for your follow. Much appreciated. I appreciate all the support. There'll be more casting along the way. Please enjoy the lights. That's the whole point of the lights is for everyone to, to use them up. If you want, please join the Discord as well. Uh, I do like, I do have a schedule and I like to put in there specifically which ones that I will be casting and what time they will be casted. So you can't miss that information. Um, eventually I will do like a, a civ tournament within my, within my server, kind of just like a fun civ tournament. Um, something that's not very serious. And hopefully I can convince some people to play in it. But that's not anytime soon, that's, that's far future. But that's my Discord. Come in, say hello. Directly communicate with me if you want. Also, I do want... This one I really would like people to, to do. I really would like people to come subscribe to my YouTube. That's 100%. Because I'm going to be putting all of my casts on my YouTube unless they're CWC, like the official CWC one, because I'll let them put it on their, their YouTube channel. But all of the qualifier games, I will be putting them on my YouTube, the ones that I do. Um, and then to practice my video editing skill, I will try to edit either each one of those videos or edit and collab them together to try to get something funny and make like a five minute a five minute funnier video of like all the casts and stuff like my, my my dumb reactions or something i do have a few of those already uh they aren't that great but i don't really care about making great videos i just want to practice and hone a skill and get better at something but with that being said we're going to go to stream ending and we're going to raid somebody don't really know who we can raid. The story is the only one on right now that could raid. There's no other casting going on that I know of, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna raid a Distoria. See you later, guys. <laughs>